This is the story of a nation. The story of our nation and how it came to be. Technically, the whole story started with Tubbo and I trying to get my discs back from Dream, who, by the way, is a little bitch. Focus, Tommy. Right. Anyways, our nation. Did it start with us selling drugs? I mean, yeah. We were kind of selling drugs on Dream's wholesome server. But that's not important. What's important is what happened after. What we became. Maybe even what we're still becoming. And what matters, what really matters, is courage, friendship, loyalty, the discs, and... A country. What? Our very own country, Tommy. For far too long we've pandered to Dream's whims. Well, no longer. I say we declare ourselves separate from the Dream SMP. I say we claim this land we stand on as an independent nation. A nation of our own? You know, Wilbur, that's not actually a bad idea. (laughs) Dream will never allow it. Which is exactly why it's meant to be. Our revolution starts now. From here on out, the citizens of... Quick, Tommy, help me think of a name. Oh, you kind of put me on the spot, big man. Oh, why don't we call it Manberg? Or alternatively, Mantopia. I do like Manberg. Yeah? It just needs to be more European. Manberg is far too American, if you ask me. What if we had an L to the beginning of it? You know, like the French do. Le Manberg. Le Manberg. Le Manberg! We've got a country, bitch! From here on out, the citizens of Le Manberg declare themselves separate from the SMP. We will be a country of words, not weapons. A country free from the rule of tyrants like Dream. Aren't you tired of dealing with these stupid Americans? If we had our independence, we'd be free of their arrogance. So let's form our own empire, a place we can be free. Our Lemanburg, our new nation. What's right in the Manberg? We'll stand against tyranny in the Manberg. So what if they try to tear us down? We'll stand together, strong and proud. Cause we are the founding of fathers of a nation free and loud. Let's band together to build a wall. Strong, yellow, and black. It'll protect our new nation from unjust attacks. I know you're scared, but you gotta give you're all for this Tommy I know it's hard but freedom's worth every risk yeah we're gonna fight for what's right in the man book we'll stand against tyranny in the man book Stand together, strong and proud Cause we are the founding of fathers Of a nation free and loud Look me in the eyes Tommy, can you commit? Movements are easy But revolutions can't be quit Tommy, I need to know Where do you stand? 
devote yourself to the Manberg. You'll be my right hand man. So, I'm in. Yeah, we're gonna fight for what's right in the Manberg. The Manberg. Guys, this is going to be so pog. Agreed. I haven't felt this way since we first fought Dream. Fighting Dream, eh? Those were the days. <laughs> yeah. So what are we supposed to do now? Birthing a nation seems a bit, I don't know, complicated. Uh, we need to let Dream know about our secession from the SMP. There can't be a revolution if the other party doesn't know about it. We can write a declaration, letting Dream know that he can't boss us around anymore. Good thinking, Tubbo! I'll draft it now. Does anyone have a book and quill? Forever, the nation of the Dream SMP has cast great sins upon our land of the Hato Dog Van. They have robbed us, imprisoned us, threatened us, killed many of our men. This time of tyranny ends with us. Make sure you mention our independence. <laughs> I'm getting to that, Tubbo. Now where was I? Oh, right. This book declares the nation that shall henceforth be known as Lamanberg is separate, emancipated, and independent from the Dream SMP. Anything anyone wants to add? How about this? The union of the masters of men. Together we are one. I like that. Union? Tommy, what are these smart words you're saying? Tubbo. <laughs> okay, Tommy. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one to dissolve the bonds which bind us, Disregarding this truth is nothing short of tyranny. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men- Underline men! That all men are created equal. The right of the people exists above the right of the king, the right of the government, and the right of the economy. From the Hetodog van we shall prevail! Life, liberty, and the pursuit of- Victory! I want you all to sign it. I think we're ready to declare our independence. All that's left to do is to break the news to Dream. Um, guys? I think he might already know. I hear you have something to tell me. What are they saying? I can't tell, they're too far away. Wish you'd hurry up, the green bastard. Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're laughing. <laughs> What is it? Come on, read it out loud. Decla... Declaration of war. Sometimes you just gotta kill some people, you know? The Dream Team declares war on the Manberg. Joint resolution. Puns. Sapnap. George. And Dream. Oh, you want to fight, oh, man, bitch? I'll get you a light! Not. You you can't what take are we going to Gentlemen, do? surely we can find another way. You thought you could pull a fast one. Get one over me. Uh-huh. You thought you could hide this. But I see everything Uh-huh You think independence is what you need But you're wrong Uh-huh You're just power hungry I've known that all along Uh-huh You've left me no choice I have to raise my voice No mercy, no mercy, no mercy no mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you I didn't want a war But now we've gotta settle the score No mercy, no mercy, no mercy 
No mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you I think you deserve one last chance Cause I'm so nice Uh huh White flags better be up ASAP Or prepare for a fight Uh huh This is your last chance to surrender peacefully Uh huh If not, I'll take what's mine and Push you six feet deep Uh huh You've left me no choice No choice I have to raise my voice No mercy, no mercy, no mercy No mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you I didn't want a war No war But now we've gotta settle the score No mercy, no mercy, no mercy No mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you You've left me no choice Now I have to raise my voice No mercy, no mercy, no mercy No mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you I never wanted war But come on, let's settle the score No mercy, no mercy, no mercy No mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you I want to see white flags. White. Flags. Outside your base. By tomorrow at dawn. Or you. Are. Dead. I suppose we'll see you on the battlefield then, Dream. As if you guys even stand a chance. I'll make you eat those words, bitch. Tommy, let's not do this right now. Oh yeah? Why stop him? He needs to learn some manners. A little discipline won't do him any harm. Gentlemen, Tommy, let's not rush things. We'll have our fun soon enough. What have we got? What's the report? All right, here's the situation. The Dream Team is outside the walls. They attacked me and Tubbo. Those fuckers need to get off their high horses. It'll be fine, Tommy. I hope at least. <sighs> I worked for around 12 hours gathering materials and they took it all! What do we do now? You're the leader, Wilbur. It's your call. We'll need the element of surprise, I think. We can't just go in guns blazing. They'll pick us off like flies. Words before weapons, my friend. Hate to interrupt what's most likely a fascinating conversation, but we have bigger things to worry about. They're surrounding us, Will! At each corner of the wall! What? You must be joking! Already? I'm afraid so. We may be outgunned, gentlemen. It's probably in our best interest to see what they want. We may be able to resolve this peacefully. Dream. It seems you've gained the upper hand during peacetime. Even though that's not what peacetime is for. We will meet you on the field, but on our own terms. Let's arrange a time and place. Tommy's house. Noon. Be there. If you don't show, we'll just assume you wussed out. It's in Tommy's character to do that. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't show. <laughs> you little- Tommy. Don't be late. So much for our arranging the terms. Are we really ready for this, Wilma? Sure, they've threatened us, but are we really going to battle? We have to, Tubbo. For our freedom. And for our primes, think of all the primes, Tubbo! We've all had our hardships. They've burned down our homes, placed TNT cannons, and generally threatened our well-being. There's a chance we might not win this. But no matter what happens in this war, no matter who wins or loses, just remember, we're on the right side of history. <laughs> we'll see. After all, history is decided by the victors. And trust me, we will be the victors. I wonder if he likes the view of our nation. 
I don't care what he thinks, he's a damn aggravation. We are outnumbered, outgunned, and outmanned. But I know we'll win, dream be damned. Us five are a team, won't stop till it's done. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll prove that I'm a good son. We are the 5th Battalion, fighting for our victory. Our bravery will go down in our nation's history. We are the 5th Battalion, a band of brothers. Dream better, watch is bad, cause we always have each other's. Tommy, I'm too old to fight, so you're in charge. Just please, don't be stupid. Remember the task at large. Tommy can't lead a wolf, much less an army. Passionate, sure, but a commander? Hardly. There's no need to be rude. I know this is stressful, but my heart is saying we will be successful. We are the 5th Battalion, fighting for our victory. Our bravery will go down in our nation's history. We are the 5th Battalion, a band of brothers. Dream better, watch is bad, cause we always have each other's. We are the 5th Battalion, strong and ready to fight. We'll plan in the shadows, under the cover of night. We are the 5th Battalion, and we're gonna win the war. Cause the Manberg is our home, and it's worth fighting for. Oh shit. Gentlemen, what is the meaning of this? What kind of question is that? Did you think we were just gonna sleep through a major event like this? Kind of ridiculous if you ask me. I bet George would have slept through this. The only reason he didn't was cause Dream woke him up. Think we got lucky with today, gentlemen. Oh, little Googie woke up cause you were dreamy going to made a bed. Hey! They kind of have a point. Fucking weirdos. We've got a bit of an armor and weapons discrepancy. Whatever you do, don't go up the tower. We have to take them onto our level. They have to come down of their own accord. It won't be that simple, Will. <laughs> <laughs> See? Those bastards. Oh my. Oh no. Stand back! Ah! Stand okay. back! Stand back! Sorry, Will. I threw it away a little bit. No, it's... It's fine. You threw away your shot, but it's okay. What we need to do now is shoot them back. But we've only got one bow! Okay, feed all arrows to Tommy. I've got a bow as well! Alright, give half to Tommy and the other half to Tabo. Just hail them with arrows. Tommy, move! Look out! Careful, men! I'm hit! To the sewers! Go! Follow me, men! The sewers? We've barely rained fire on them. Men, you get back up here right now. We stand and fight. But Wilbur, you're... you're... No, no, you're right. We've not even begun. I want half slabs on the windows. I want complete cover and then I want you to fire on them. All right, men. New tactic. All at once we go out. I'll distract them, you attack. Go, I'm right behind you. Dodge the arrows! I'm baiting them out. Have we landed any shots? They're retreating! They're retreating! Fire on them from above, we have the higher ground. They're going to Punk's tower! In that case, we should go to Punk's tower, they're the same height! Let's do it! Keep moving everyone, follow my command! Through the walls! Now, be careful, the likelihood of this being a trap is very high. I see them, they're at the base of the tower. They're shooting at me! They're shooting at me! They're firing on Fundy, they're at the base of the tower, just fire back. I think they've seen me. They've seen me, they've definitely seen me. Fire, fire, fire! Fire on them, men! Their arrows can't go high enough to hit us! We're safe! I'll distract them. They can only fire on me. Keep firing on them, keep hitting them! Repressive fire! Oh, they're retreating, they're retreating! They're retreating! Yeah, you'd better run, bitch! Tommy, that was a great job. 
Thank you, Wilbur, thank you. I know I am amazing. Men, we won the battle. But we haven't won the war. Look at the embassy. No, it it can't be. I guess that's the price of war. Oceans rise and empires fall, gentlemen. We need to get back to our nation. You unfortunately have a point. Lucky for you, I've prepared a little gift. Let's make our way back to the Manberg. There's something I wish to show you. A surprise? Yes, it could potentially turn the tide of this war we're fighting. Turn the tide of the war? For real? I think you'll understand when you see it. This is our last hope. We only have one chance. I have a secret weapon that'll help our team advance. Come down to my hideout, the final control room. This is where we'll have our last stand, and where you'll meet your doom. What? Eric, what are you talking about? Down with the revolution, boys. It was never meant to be. I know that you're all scared of dream, but you should have been scared of me. I was willing to do what I had to do so that I could get the crown. Listen to your new king's order. Bow down. I know that you're in shock, so fine Call me a traitor, but I don't see it that way I just moved on to something greater I wanted greener pastures and a bluer sky I know this may sound cruel, but I just needed you to die So down with the revolution, boys It was never meant to be I know that you're all scared of dream, but you should have been scared of me. I was willing to do what I had to do so that I could get the crown. Listen to your new king's order. Bow down. I know that you're all devastated, but let's not pretend like you would have made it. La Manberg is a pipe dream for sycophantic fools. Why be a revolutionary when you could rule? So down with the revolution, boys. It was never meant to be. I know that you're all scared of dream, but you should have been scared of me. I was willing to do what I had to do so that I could get the crown. Listen to your new king's order. Bow down. Eret, how could you? I fought with you for hours! You're supposed to be our friend! Eret, listen to me. And I mean this in the nicest way possible. You fucked up. I was the last one you'd expect. Besides, I was offered a kingship, and I would be a fool not to accept such a lucrative proposition. Goodbye, gentlemen. I bid you luck on your journeys. Eret! Eret! No! I can't believe it! He's a monster. Oh my gosh. He knows our plans. He's gonna share that with them. He betrayed us. He actually- Our declaration of independence is signed by a traitor. Do we have anything we can possibly combat them with? Weapons? Armor? Anything? I have absolutely nothing. Wilbur, they took everything from us! My gear? My... my bees. I have a crayon suit. What the fuck do you want from me? There's only one thing we can do. 
I'm going to convene with the general. With Dream? You're not surrendering, are you? Of course not. Just negotiations. Dream? I wish to speak somewhere privately. I accept. Come unarmed. Planning to? Not that I have any weapons anyway. I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Like hell you are. I told Dream I'd be alone and unarmed. Let me help negotiate. Tommy. I'll give him a piece of my mind. Tommy. You're staying behind. I need you to remain here where you will be safe. Please. I can't lose another brother. But I... That's an order, Tommy. General Soot. Dream. We need to talk. Have you realized that we've won? I'm ready to negotiate. Fine, let's have some fun. You had a spy on the inside. All fair in war. All's fair and love as well, but love's not what you're fighting for. General, general to general, general, man to man, look me in the eyes and tell me where you stand. General to general, man to man, look me in the eyes and tell me where you stand. I want white flags. And I want freedom. You're all traitors. It's no longer your kingdom. I'll blow it up. You don't have the power. Wanna make a bet? We certainly won't cower. General, general to general, general, man to man, look me in the eyes and tell me where you stand. General, general to general, general, man to man, look me in the eyes and tell me where you stand. We want independence, or we want death. Give up your revolution, or you'll have nothing left. We're at an impasse, so give it your all. So you accept my offer. Let's see who made the right call. General to general, man to man, look me in the eyes and tell me where you stand. General to general, man to man, look me in the eyes and tell me where you stand. General to general, man to man, look me in the eyes and tell me where you stand. General to general, man to man, look me in the eyes and see your final stand. There's no way you could blow up Romanburg. You don't have the capacity to do such a thing. <laughs> oh, really? Fine then. Let's go and see what you make of your Lemanberg. What have you done? Well, it's simple, really. You think I won't blow up your two minute old nation? Don't tell me you. <laughs> I did. If you do not wave the white flag, I'll light a single piece of TNT. Some people may die in the crossfire, but it's practically deserved at this point, don't you think? Dream, you couldn't have. That'd be too cruel. I will ask you one last time, in front of all your traitorous friends, to surrender. Wilba? What's going on? Dream has given us an ultimatum. He said that if we do not rescind our ownership of this land, he would light this piece of TNT. Now, I've said it before, and I want you to resound with me your answer. Independence or death. If we get no revolution, then we want nothing. We would rather die than give in to you and join your SMP. You can blow up one piece of TNT in our door all you want. It means nothing to us. We will not waver. Then you have sealed your and your nation's fate. Stand back. Don't let this measly piece of TNT hurt you. What? No! Okay, okay! Declaration! Someone get the declaration! Oh my god! Gentlemen, gentlemen, it's in times like these where you go down to the hole I conveniently made to escape. I figured we might need to be on the run for a little bit at some point, and now is as good a time as ever. Down the hole, down the hole! Up you run! When did you build all this? We don't have time, Wilbur! 
Okay, so I thought, the odds are we aren't going to win this war. I don't think we can win this. We have basically nothing. But you know what we do have? We have each other. I'm going to play one of the discs that Dream Forever tried to steal from me. I'm really not sure how long we have left. Um, any last words? Well, this is where you put out the sly last move. Please? You'd said you were strategizing. Listen. Listen. There is no sly last move. They're too powerful. We... We should probably accept the terms of surrender. Wilbur! They've entrapped our land. They've bombed us. They've destroyed our homes. I... I feel I would be a bad general if I didn't look for conditions of surrender. <sighs> Tommy in it? I want you to come with me to talk to Dream. Really? Why? The last time I went to discuss a possible negotiation, our nation blew up. Quite literally. And I don't think I can take another bomb drop like that. Just... Come with me, Tommy. Yes, sir, Wilbur said, sir. On one condition. Don't run your mouth. No challenging dream on his honor, none of that. You did well, Tommy. You were a good right-hand man. You were? It's just a shame that it has to end like this, looking for conditions of surrender on our own lands. You fought well. All of you. I'll contact you when there's news. Stay safe. Dream. We are here to negotiate our surrender. I'd say we fought well. You could say that? <laughs> what do you mean you could say that? You know what? With everything you were against, you fought well. We just fought much better. <gasps> Don't say that, Dream. We fought incredibly well. Perhaps. You still lost. So, what all will be? I suggest you surrender, gentlemen. Tommy. <laughs> you know what, Dream? Tommy, no. Why don't we fight right now? Why don't we do a one versus one? Let's have a duel. A one-man showdown, you son of a bitch. You self-obsessed green Tommy. bastard. Tommy, you, you can't. You've up all of our shit, Dream, so what do you have to lose? One versus one duel. In front of everyone. You and me. I asked you to do one thing, Tommy. One simple, very easy to accomplish thing. Wilbur, I can't just let him do this to us. What do we have to lose? When did you become such a coward? I'm doing this for you, Tommy. For everyone. But Wilbur- What are the details of the 1v1? A bow duel. 10 paces, sundown. Me versus you. For Lemanberg. Tommy, this isn't worth it. Your life is worth more than the revolution. Worth more than this nation as a whole. Wilbur, we've got to do this. Look around us. We fought so hard for this nation, for our independence. I'm not just going to give up now. Please, Wilbur. Let me do this. For Lemanberg. Dream, this man does not speak for me. But if this is something you're willing to do, I will let it happen. If you win, you can have independence. If you lose, your nation is under my control. Oh, and I get mellow high. The disc. Deal. It's sundown. We'll meet on the prime path in 10 minutes. Bring your men. This is for the revolution. For independence. Don't take this lightly. This duel means a lot. For me, Lemanberg, and you. Wilbur, what happens if I miss? What happens if I miss? Tommy, these were your conditions. The passion and fire in your heart were brilliant for the war, but now you've really gotten yourself into a mess. I can't stand by you now, but I support you every step of the way. Do I shoot him, Will? Or do I aim for the skies? I... I want you to do whatever your heart says you should do. 
Just meet him face to face. Didn't answer my question, Wilbur. Let me clarify before we begin. If you win, we grant Lemanberg independence, but recognize it as a part of the SMP. And if I win, we regain control of Lemanberg, and you have no choice but to surrender to me. The disc is an added bonus to it all. I'm right. Right? Those were the conditions, yes. Please shake hands. It has begun. I don't know why we're bothering in the first place. Tommy is terrible at fighting. He might last five seconds. Come on, give the kid a chance to become a man. Guys, dreams giving the look again. Backs to each other. I will count ten paces. When I have said the word fire, you may turn and fire on each other. Do you understand? Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paces fire. I'd say that the fight was close, but I don't wanna lie. It's cute that you'd really thought that you'd win. How'd it feel to die? Don't try to make a mess. You've single-handedly doomed your friends No mercy, no mercy, no mercy No mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you I know you wanted to beat me But you're never gonna defeat me, no mercy no mercy, no mercy No mercy, no mercy, no mercy for you yeah! <laughs> Woo! It has been settled Now Tommy, I'm expecting Mellowhide to be given to me as soon as it is, we will seize control of our land and- Dream! Can we talk for a second? Tommy, what are you- Alone. This is our war. Men, let's go back to Lamanberg. We can- We can say our goodbyes. Dream, I know what you want from me. I want Mellowhai, and I want Lamanberg. I won the duel, fair and square. I'll do this. For Lamanberg. I'll give you both of the discs if you let us have our independence. Cat and Malahai. That is a very, very interesting deal. That's very selfless of you, Tommy. What tune did some bird have to sing to change your perspective? Don't look too far into it, Dream. It's for Lamanberg, you know. For Wilbur. For Tubbo. Well, I guess I can't look a gift horse in the mouth. Fine. I accept. Did I do the right thing? I guess we are free now. Who needs prized possessions anyhow? Does this even matter? Will Dream keep his word? The 
idea of a war-free life It's a bit absurd My heart is crushed by the sacrifice A chill runs down my spine cold as ice I know I should show them how I've grown But all I want is to be alone I go back to my home It's all been destroyed Any comfort that I once had Is all null and void I did what I had to do But when all said and done I've lost everything, so I don't feel like we've won. My heart is crushed by the sacrifice. Freedom had a cost, but was it worth the price? I know I shouldn't be so upset. God, I wish I could just forget. Tell me, what was your negotiation? I've secured our independence. How? I gave him the discs, Will. You... You gave up your discs? All of them? <laughs> My right hand man, Tommy in it. Get over here. You have the Declaration of Independence, yeah? I need a new book. I need leather, I need paper, I need ink, I need feathers, and damn it, Tommy. I need a hug. Dream tried his best to take everything from me. He took my discs, my home, my life, but not my family. One day I know I'll have my discs again But right now I don't care Cause I have my friends We've lost so much So, so much You know, it doesn't matter that we have nothing what matters more than any physical item is freedom. Freedom. Liberty. Liberty. And the pursuit of victory. The victory we sacrificed everything for. All of us, even Arrett! Wilbur, I'm getting rid of the old Declaration of Independence. I can't stand the thought of having that traitor's handwriting in bold. Tommy, no. We are not burning the original Declaration of Independence. But Wilbur, it's still a part of our history. You don't tear down history just because you don't agree with it. That's just not how that works. Well, we'll have to at least rewrite it. Eric broke our promise, so we need to make a new one. You need to declare our freedom, Wilbur. I've done this before. This should be easy. All right, men. Gather on top of the van. The Decree of Independence. I'm going to keep it short and sweet, gentlemen. As we gaze upon the swaths of redwood trees, the great hills to our south, and the walls that have protected us for years. I, as the now president of Lamanberg, we're not democratic, I've elected myself, hereby state. Yeah! Suck it, green boy! <laughs> Hell yes, fuck we, we have independence. Life. Liberty and the pursuit of freedom. So we're taking elves now? <laughs> That's funny. That was out of pocket, Fundy. Anyway, freedom! Woo! That was noble. Uh, not the L part, that was rude. The freedom part was... Never mind. <laughs> I want each of you to sign this. My right-hand man, Treasury of State, Tommy in it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bitch! Tubbo, 
I want you to be my Secretary of State. Thank you, Wilbur. I feel so honored. But, uh, what does that mean? And Fondy? Who's my little champion? Who's my little champion? Look at your fluffy little cheeks. Give it a sign, little crayon little boy. My son. My son. We have our independence. Lamanberg is free from the tyranny of dream and it's... It's real! We live in a brand new world, brothers. And in this new world is a story that will be told for centuries. It's a new day, it's a new dawn. In the end, our troubles are far from gone. We have a nation, we have freedom. But my friends, there's still so much work to be done I know that we just stopped fighting But this is what we fought for Sure, we lost some battles But hey, we won the war I know that I couldn't have done this without you And together we'll make the world brand new